Wake up, Thomas. Mickey, uh, wake up. Uh, is that quiet? Uh, all's quiet. We have no fear of Lord Rintoul and his red coats coming this night. Where? Where is Rob Dale? There he stands, watching the lights of the town, Gail. A fine job the minister's made of him. Rob Dale, the bonny swearer that was. And no, not so much as one single lonely dam in him. I was not watching the lights of the town. I was saying a prayer to one light that win a gold for hours. Aye, the red light. It is Mr. Dyson's window. Aye, the minister's windy. There he sits, studying far into the night. A beacon, a shining light to us all. Uh, oh, oh, it's out. Aye, yeah. it's out. Thomas, your chief builder, what think you does this mean? Oh, Smitty, it only means he's been called away on some errand of mercy. Can it be so sure? What would you say if it meant that he'd gone out to meet the temptation that's of the earth? Earthly. Does that mean a woman, Thomas? He sure cooks her. Mr. Dysart is a thief that has walked straight out of the Bible. And the man that delighted has me to fight. Peace. Make not an idler any man. Uh, it's a terrible face you have in the minister. But it doesn't keep you from deceiving him. What would he say, think you, if he was to find out that night after night you're up here breaking the law? Man's law. And ready to break men's heads. Some night he'll hear this horn blown three times. And he'll see that sleeping town waking into life and his holy congregation gathering to defy the soldiers of the king. What will the little minister say then? You yeah, religious critter. Favor! Quick! What's that? Well, don't you see anything? Favor! Favor! It's my boy Micah. What is it? It's the red coat. No, it's Mr. Dyker. Oh. The news is on. What's that for? I stand by the fire. I, I, I get back to him. I eat him. Good evening, Mr. Dyser. Thomas, woman, all of you. What do you hear at this hour? Why, you see, there we are. What is it the strangers come up here to look at? The view. Aye. We just came up to look at the view. Liars all. Stand forward. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, the truth. But this, then, is the truth. Uh, you must have heard that a riot, Mr. Dyser, that took place before you come to come. Aye. Uh, the manufacturers... Angry with my favor? No, Michael. But he must not fight, you know. He hasn't been drunk for three weeks. Oh, it's fine. Poor boy. What's that? It's a woman singing in the woods. At this hour? See, your father's calling like a run. I tell you, she's dancing. She's an Egyptian. A gypsy. Michael, go. Oh! oh. Woman! Woman, stand forward. Oh, oh, no. Woman, stop. Stop, I command you. Stop, stop, I say. Stop. Crookshank, where'd you put it? Where'd you put the horn? Thomas says we must not leave it here. But here, but it's three. You go on. I'll fetch it. We'll wait for you at the foot of the hill. Oh, go on, Snicky. Go on. It was here. Man, huh? man, oh, are you oh, a man? man? Quick, before the minister comes back. Oh, my goodness, it's her little lady. Oh, no, no, I'm a gypsy. No, it won't do. You're Lord Rintoul's daughter, the Lady Barbara, dressed out in Egyptian clothes. Does right. your favor know of this? Oh, goodness, sir. What's your name? You won't tell well, me. that may be my solemn duty. Oh, when I come to save you, the way he comes of the soldiers are coming tonight. Tonight? Yes. I heard Captain Hallowell and my father discussing it. I felt so sorry for the poor weavers. There. You hear? We can't get to the town now. The soldiers are there. And this is what they're to do. They're to surround the town quietly before the constables march into it. There was in no way of alarming the people. This horn. We're to blow three blasts on this horn if we saw the red Oh, then blow, blow. Oh, I your ladyship a colonel. If I were to blow it, it might give the town a chance. Uh -huh. But the soldiers would come back and nab me. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm off. Oh. But I'll keep your secret, for you've done a noble thing this night. You've saved Joe Crookshank. Oh, the wretch. Oh, this horn. I can't blow it. Oh, I were a man. Oh, the minister. Woman, what do you do? Woman, how dare you mock me? What, what's your name? Babby. Babby, what? Babby, I'm not married yet. Take care. Stand up. Uncover your face. Oh, I don't It's ugly. What difference, think you, does that make to a minister? Uncover your face. 
I'm glad you like it. I never said that. But what do you think? <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, oh, when you speak to Mr. Strangler, I can hear a What did you say? I said, oh, if I could only blow on the horn. What horn? The horn. I so often lose my way. They give me this uh, blow on so they could hear and come for me. But I can't do it. Are your friends in the woods? I can hear feathers in the woods. <laughs> and you're so Then I shall blow it for you. <laughs> but then, um, could you? Could I? Give me the horn. <laughs> there. What grandly done. Mm. I wonder if they heard. I wonder. I didn't suppose you could blow louder. <laughs> oh, you take a strong man to blow a lust at last. I am a strong man. <laughs> they must have heard that. Again. That must suffice. Oh, I see. I get tired. Tired? <laughs> <laughs> Town drum at this hour? What can it mean? It means the town is rising again, the soldiers. Soldiers, there are no soldiers. Oh, the wood is full of them. There, you hear? My poor people. It's how for them yet the alarm has been sounded. <laughs> After I forbade it, huh? Who sounded the alarm? <laughs> you did. I? No, no. Oh. Anyway, anyway. Oh, father. Oh. Here, here, come back. Come back, I say. Come back. Oh, she's gone. Oh, help me, save me. You, I didn't know you. Where did you get that bonnet and cloak? Oh, Nanny wants to get into me. You stole it. Oh, no, no. Where have you been? I've been hiding behind that tree. Oh, see me. They're trying to catch me. Oh, I believe you. Oh, it's you, Mr. Dysart. And, uh... Introduce me, dear. What? Oh, Sergeant, you may try me for venturing here, but where could a woman be on such a night but at her husband's side? Oh, it's Mrs. Dysart. Miss yes. Ellis is with you, ma'am. Sergeant, I have to inform you. Yes, 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 love, about the woman in this address. You saw her? Which way? She came stealing out here and they ran back the same way. She's double. Yes. After her, you and the open lady will excuse me. Sergeant, I have you anything to say, Mr. Dysart? Have you? No. <laughs> then good night, Mr. Dysart, and you, sir. Hold men on the double. Oh. You said you were my wife. Oh, dreadful. <laughs> Why didn't I say I was his mother? <laughs> Oh, forgive me. You saved me after the way I... Oh, how generous you are. No, 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 I had nothing to do with it. Oh, who are you? A few minutes ago, you were a gypsy girl in impertinent clothing. You spoke as broadly as any woman in my congregation. Now, a bonnet and cloak suddenly convert you into a fine lady. <laughs> who are you? Perhaps it is a cloak that has bewitched me. I'll take it off. Ay, ay. <laughs> oh, not. This is the cloak that did it. You need to see for a day for a bonny cloak, does not to a woman. Where did you get it? <laughs> no, he doesn't speak of it. It's the edge of the wood. I shall take it back to you someday next week. When? Someday next week. How dare you tell me that? You are. There are no soldiers in this part of the wood, so your way is open. Go. Won't you say goodbye? Go. Don't you like me? Can a man like a woman against his will? Of course. That's the very nicest way of being liked. Woman, will you go? Good night. Would you kiss Rose? No. Oh, I should give it to you anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning.